like I told you, today we're going to focus on calculating safe days and um, we're going to focus mainly on those with irregular menses because you usually get it rough. And by this, very, very simple. You're going to see that in a few seconds. And how will this information help you? Well, we have two ways. One, you can use this as a family planning method. You just avoid the unsafe days and you are safe. Or you can not avoid the unsafe days and uh, you easily become pregnant. I like you're going to see in a video we're going to make on how you can just only have sex only once and become pregnant. So that's a very interesting one. Make sure you're subscribed. We have two types of menses. We have regular and we have irregular. Now, irregular is as it sounds. But with irregular, like I said, maybe yours is a 21-day cycle, maybe a 30-day cycle or a 28-day cycle, it doesn't skip. So if yours is 28, it doesn't go to 29, it doesn't go to 30, it doesn't go to 24 or 26, it stays at 28 each and every time. But sometimes it can be not that. Like I said, it's normal to have a 21-day cycle all the way up to 34. So that one, we agree, those are normal cycles. Anything below that, irregular. Anything above that, irregular. And if you have a short cycle, let's say 21 days, you'll find that you'll have more months where you'll be having menses twice in a month. So like twice. This is because a month is 30 days or 31, meaning that anything below this, you'll have months when uh, you'll have cycle twice, because let's say yours is 28, 28 is within a month, meaning that let's assume that in this month, you started your menses on uh, day one of that month. It would extend all the way, let's say yours is a 28 day cycle up to 28, 28 is still within this month, so you started your menses around here, you'll start another one around date 29 going forward. But if you have a short day cycle here, you'll have more months with this scenario. Okay, I digressed. Now we are calculating safe days and uh, like we said, you start counting your cycle from the first day, you start getting your, your menses all the way up to this will be the first day of uh, the next cycle. So this will be the first one, this will be the first one. So this is the end. Like for example, let's assume this is day 16th. This is when you start getting your menses. If you're getting them today, it means that yesterday was the last day of the previous cycle. So you get the point. So day one, when you start getting the cycle all the way up to the end. Now, you'll have to remember that you have two types of people. We have with regular, Regular, we said if it's 28, it doesn't skip. It goes 28, 28, 28 or through. Now for irregular, it can be 28, it can be 30, sometimes uh, let's say 34, sometimes it can be 22, so it, it skips some days. Now for that one, we are going to deal with this. And also remember, there is another type that we also focused on or we mentioned in the previous video, where you can go for even six months or even 10 months or even years without getting your menses. This one is a special one. We are going to talk about that in a separate video, like I said. And uh, today we're going to focus on this one because this is where most of you falls in. Now, let's start. How do you actually get to now start tracking? Now, for this method to be successful, you'll have to do one very important thing. You'll have to track your cycles up to six months. And to make it even more accurate, 12 months. So how you do that is your first day of the cycle all the way up to the last, you track how many days you got that one. Now, let's assume that uh, this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now what you're going to do here is uh, the first day of your first cycle and uh, all the way up to the last, let's say this one was 26, let's assume this one went all the way up to 21, this one 24, this was 25, this is 28, let's say this is was 34, we are just assuming. This was uh, 35, let's say this was again 28, let's say 22, 31. So this is how your cycles are looking like. So cycle 1 all the way up to 12, they keep moving all over. Now once you have this, it becomes very easy for you because what you need to do here is to pick the shortest cycle and then you pick the longest. Now for the shortest here, what do we have? We have 21, 20, so, so it's 21. So the shortest is 21 and the longest is we have 30, we have 35. 
So we are going to work with this to identify the safe and unsafe days. Now that we have all the cycles here, we have the shortest and we have the longest. Now it's actually very simple. Now we are starting a new cycle today. We want to know when we're going to be safe or when we are not going to be safe so that we capitalize on the unsafe days so that we become pregnant faster or we avoid those if we are using this as a family planning method. And remember, this is not the most effective way of family planning. So the same case goes to the withdrawal or maybe you can just combine withdrawal with this method to make it a little bit better if you're trying as much as possible to avoid uh, using contraceptives like the hormonal or non-hormonals yeah you can use this but you will have to understand that this comes with uh, its own set of risks now what you need to do is uh, now you pick the shortest which is 21 you minus 18 which will give you three and this is the first day of the fertility period Okay, now we go to the longest here, which is 35, 35, you minus 11, you're going to get 24, and this should give you the last day of fertility. Now, you go back to the cycle uh, from date 3 going all the way up to 24. This is a high fertility period. And if you go to interpretation, so let's say, for example, you're going to get a 34 day cycle this time. We are assuming that's what will happen. Remember, we said that we are starting a new cycle today. We are not sure. Let's assume that it's going to be 34. It means that uh, this will be day one and that it will extend all the way up to 34. Now, the ovulation should be from uh, this is one all the way up to 34. This should be one, two, three now this is where the safe days are and then we go to 24 now from 24 going forward all the way up to 34 that's another period which is safe now this one here is very unsafe based on uh, maybe your objectives now let's assume you're going to get a 21 day cycle next so there will be day one all the way up to 21 and it means that uh, now from day three which is now this one here up to date 24 so one this should be one two three for safe days but then you extend you extend you go beyond the cycle up to when up to 24 21 22 23 24 so in this short cycle that you have here the only time that will be safe will be the first three days but the rest will not so i'm sure by now you understand that when you have a short cycle it will be tricky for you because getting an unsafe day, yeah, unless your guy is so good at uh, withdrawal, this method might not help you as much when you have a short cycle and you have irregular menses. Because now the window shrinks considerably. If you're close to menopause and you want to become pregnant, I'm going to make that video and it's actually going to be very interesting to so make sure you're subscribed. And also if you want to know what will happen to you if you stay for long without having any sex activity, there's a video here that you'll enjoy watching.